here we are given a system of linear equations and we need to solve these four entries. Now here what we'll do is we'll find delta and delta in this case is this determinant so 1, 2, 1, 1, 0, alpha and this is 2, minus 3 and beta. Now we solve this, we will get this as 3 alpha and this is minus 2, beta minus 2 alpha and minus 3. So value of delta it will be 3 alpha plus 4 alpha 7 alpha. So there will be 7 alpha minus 2 beta minus 3 and if we look at this we have both alpha and beta in this third column so what we'll do is we'll also find delta 3 and delta 3 will be this 1 2 7 1 0 11 and then 2 minus 3 gamma so here will be this 33 then minus 2 gamma minus 22 minus 21 so that will be 56 minus 2 gamma so we have worked out delta and delta 3 now first we will take up this condition when delta is equal to 0. So if delta is equal to 0 then 7 alpha minus 2 beta minus 3 it is equal to 0. That means beta is equal to 1 by 2 into 7 alpha minus 3 which is given in these two options P and Q. So for both these options delta is 0. Now if we look at this delta 3, if this delta 3 is unequal to 0, that means gamma is unequal to 28. In that case, this equation will have no solution. So this Q, it matches with 2. So clearly, this Q, it matches with 2, which is either of these two conditions and both the conditions p matches with 3 that means we will have infinitely many solutions. Now in order to solve p we have two choices either we can find delta 1 and delta 2 and prove that they are equal to 0 or what we can do is we know since delta is equal to 0 either it will have no solution or infinitely many solutions. So if we can find any one solution then that would suffice to prove this P will have infinitely many solutions. So what we'll do is for this P we'll put y as 0. Now if we put y as 0 we'll get x plus z equals 7 and x plus alpha z equals 11 and here it is 2x plus beta z and that will be equal to 28. Now if alpha is unequal to 1, this system of equation will be consistent and by putting in the value of x and z, we can always get the value of beta. So that means this p will have infinitely many solutions. So this p, it matches with 3. So p with 3 and q with 2. Now we will come to these two cases where delta is unequal to 0. Now when delta is unequal to 0 then basically we will have unique solution. Now when delta is unequal to 0 and delta 3 is 0 and delta 3 is 0 when gamma is 28 we know that value of z it must be equal to 0.
So we'll get value of z is 0. And in both the cases, value of alpha, it is given as 1. So if we put z as 0 and alpha is 1, we can write these equations as x plus 2y equals 7 x equals 11 2x minus 3y equals 28 now if x is 11 y is minus 2 and this is 22 plus 6 is 28 so this system of equation is consistent so here we'll have this solution where value of x is 11 y is minus 2 and z is equal to 0 so 11 minus 2 and z is equal to 0 that means this s it matches with 4 so here this s it matches with 4 and for this r since delta 3 is unequal to 0 so that means z is unequal to 0 so the only option we have here is delta is unequal to 0 and z is unequal to 0 so it will have a unique solution so this r it matches with 1 so this r it matches with 1 so it is 3 2 1 4 and that's your option a